Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Oka Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 4 Series Generation F32, F33, F36. That one right here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you guys have one of those, you need to find where the touch box fuse is located which fuse you need to check, where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools, that way you do not waste your money, why it's important to test fuses and realize all that guys will be shared absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stand till the end. Even though we're having a 3 series here at the garage, they're built on the same platform. Stay with us and we'll explain where to find the touch box fuse, uh, touch box fuse on BMW 4 series today. Before we start guys, let me tell you a little bit about us. If you guys need to find fuses, relays for that BMW 4 Series generation from 2013 to 2019, we'll make video for every single fuse relay. Why? Because let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where the fuel injector or fuel pump fuse is located. You have multiple hidden fuses, you can find it, replace it, get back on the road guys, fix that problem because otherwise, okay, you'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere. Every single car we get here at the garage guys, we take them completely apart we show you how to fix pretty much anything from transmissions, engines, bodywork guys. All that will be on our channels, check it out. Let me show you where you can find more about it. Right here we have more than 10,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. And if you need to buy parts, tools, fuses for your BMW or any car at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money, we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from. So let's start on it now. So, that touch box fuse guys, fun fact about that BMW 4 series, you may have up to 6 different fuse boxes, 3 are easy to access, uh, 3 of them are not easy at all, let's explain where they're located. So, the fuse box that we need is, uh, we got lucky, we just need one today, it's right in front of the windshield on the passenger side here, we have one cover with 3 nuts, remove those, open it. And you're going to see a fuse box uh, layout that will look like this one here, guys. Okay, before we continue, let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays. It is, guys, very important to test fuses and relays. On those fuses, you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not, especially you can see in the JK's fuses as well. And if you guys assume, okay, you, let's say you remove a fuse, you look at it, and you assume, guys, that it's uh, actually a, a good fuse, but it's actually a bad fuse, sometimes you cannot clearly see that. What can easily happen, guys, at that point, uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to, so you lose your time, you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it. We'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses, how to check relays very easily as well, guys. So uh, check it out, it will be in the description of the video below. So the touch box fuse, this is the row of fuses towards the windshield side. This is the front of the BMW, passenger side, driver side. We'll be working right here, even if you have a missing fuse, you need to count that spot. The fuse that we need for the touch box, starting with this side is fuse number 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fuse number 25, that 5M fuse is the one that you will need to check. If you guys have any more questions, please let us know. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.